Welcome back to Jamming Games. I am Steven. He is Wyatt. On our left today, we've got Jake playing Green Black Poison. It's, it's a Death Touch Mold deck. Five. Mold of Five. We made fun of him for a long time, but it kind of turned into a real deck with Finn. On the right, we have uh, some weird guy that no one likes. <laughs> <laughs> Comes to our tournaments and wears a puffy jacket that smells. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this guy is the big question. Uh, so Jake, Jake is playing... Uh, he doesn't... I'm, he, he's been brewing this deck for, I'm going to say, a year. Probably. It's been he, a long time. He just likes decks that have Death Touch. He thinks they're cool. And suddenly, Finn the Fang Bearer has kind of vindicated all of his deck building choices for the last however many years. And also Hooded Blightfang. Yeah, Hooded Blightfang is weirdly good. There's like two really good payoff cards that he gets to run. And uh, that's what he does. So the deck is just a bunch of creatures with a Death Touch. And then the payoffs are Finn. Uh, the Fang Bearer and Hooded Blight Fang. There's also Questing Beast. Like, that's, Questing Beast is a payoff that'll by itself. That kill a thing pretty yeah. quick. Here's a Finn. Yep. The Karn's Bastion also is like weirdly good with I know. Poison. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and he put uh, he put Hissing Quagmires in last week. Yeah. And so it's just kind of getting like... Slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like. He, um... It, it's weird because the Death Touch creatures are like removal spells that also attack. Like if you have to get, if you were a deck that's going to have to get into combat interaction with him, he can trade with everything. It's pretty good. And his creatures have really fat butts. Like Finn is a 1-3, Hooded Blight Fang is a 1-4. There's a lot of toughness. And he has Cheville. Chevel. Chevel. Cheville, <laughs> Chevel, I'm not sure. See how you'd like. So our players, uh, Wyatt has a deck full of removal, which is the last thing Jake wants to see. <laughs> yeah. And he's a mobile, mobile five. Five. Like, Yeah. This is a rough game for Jake. I think, like, my only threat is this stupid <laughs> Glenn oh. Sleep Siphoner, and, like, every other card in my hand is just a removal spell. Yeah, and you just ride that to victory? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Honestly, you owe everyone an apology. This is, like, <laughs> what are you playing this dirtily pile for, man? <laughs> so you attacked your Glint Sleep into his... Oh, it has Menace. Yeah, right? <laughs> Okay. He's also just a <laughs> scare of God. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Scare of God's pretty good here. Yes. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, scare of God is. It is like impossible to kill. Yeah. I know. And it's one of the most like. It closes games out fast. Yeah. I think every time I played Scare of God on curve, I just like won in two turns or like one turn or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, so there's a reason it was fifty dollars in standard. It's because the card was outstanding, completely insane. Yeah. Did you put a bounty counter on your stirrup bed? Yeah, 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 I was reading it to see if it was beginning of end step or beginning of upkeep. When oh, it sure. Back. I just think that Ch Chevel is pretty good. Chevel! Yeah, he, he, <laughs> why, er, he dunks on me with that card sometimes. So I played him, I was playing Modern Human, <coughs> and he was playing this deck. Yeah, I was just... He beat the shit out of me. <laughs> it was, it was wild. Here's a Questing Beast. Questing Beast is a house. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah, push shovel and just take four. <laughs> I think I just like reanimate Finn or something. Yeah. <laughs> just like yeah. So Jake has disruption. Like a thought sees or something probably goes a long way here in helping him, you know, stem the bleeding from you. Yeah. And this this Glen Sleeve has drawn you quite a few cards too. Yeah, I think it's probably like three cards. It's just like it's a bob every other turn. It is the ultimate low rent low rent dark confidant. <laughs> but like it's kind of funny because that's how good Dark Confidant is. Yeah. This crappy version that does it every other turn is still like <laughs> pretty good. Nighthawk Scavenger, the next Tarmogoyf. And I think about blocking it, I just heartless act it. Oh man. <laughs> I, I think I just take the questing beast and it's just like, well. It becomes a 4 4 when you get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't even do it on my upkeep. I just. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that extra point, man. I guess not. I don't think you even do it at all. I must have something in my hand. So I, sure. yeah, I don't know what I, what I have, but I have something for sure. Well, you can threaten to block with the Nighthawk. Or just have double animate up now. Oh, that's what I wanted. boy. So if he trades off the Nighthawk, you get to pick that up and yeah. something else. That's really, really good. I could have just threatened lethal, though, if I just took nah, this dude, you're good. <laughs> requesting beast and attack with everything. I actually just win if I do that. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. Oh, you do just the game just ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game just ends if I attack with everything. Oh, he's got lifelink, though. Oh, I guess I just... Maybe. Yeah, 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 okay. Past Wyatt is better at magic than present Wyatt. <laughs> this is just a main phase dig. I don't know what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter, dude. Too cool. <clears throat> Takes your time. Most busted card ever. It's pretty good. 
Especially in a reactive deck, because you can just find the... <laughs> so, yeah, Henny's expertise. Oof. Put in this room and get back my glued sleep <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the inscriptions of whatever the hell... Yeah, inscription of X. Yeah, here comes that, but then Jake sees, oh yeah, I'm dead anyways. Yeah, yeah, there's All right, right. We're on to deck game two. We're back after sideboards, and I'm going to... So my thought right before we went to the break... Inscriptions. What are, like, are any of the inscriptions good? No. It seems like they all have five modes. None of the modes are great. Like, it's okay, it's fine. Most of them are fine. And if you pay, like, 11 mana, you can get two of them. You get all of them. Oh, you get all of them? Yeah. Okay, okay, maybe that's that's the upside. It's seven mana for the black one, and then you force your opponent to discard to get back a creature and kill a creature. That's pretty good. That's like a cool ultimatum. So Jake here yeah. is playing Weathered Runestone. I think this stops... What does it do? Uh, it stops inscription from occurring a creature. Okay, so it says creatures can't enter the battlefield from graveyards? Yeah, it's just... It's, oh. it's uh... Yeah, yeah, so he, he misunderstood what uh, Sierra Biad was doing, most yeah, likely. Yeah, Have you ever had someone bring in Graf Digger's Cage against you and you're playing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you're like, you idiot, you don't know what it does, and they still crush you. Like, they went down a card, yeah, yeah, wasted yeah. a turn paying a mana, and they still happen you. happen not to find yeah. like, a Cascade spell or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, like, you never cast your Cascade spell, and they just, like, sit there thinking, like, happily, like, Graf Digger's did it. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Alright, well here's the the uh, Coded Blight Fang, which is a card we were talking about earlier as being like one of the actual good cards in the deck. It's weird. It, like I don't know what it does. It's like efficient, it like drains, there's two of them, I counter <laughs> one of them. <laughs> the best part about it is there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so this card, whenever a death touch creature attacks, the defending player loses life, you gain a life. Yeah. It's technically a two four for three mana, which is fine with yeah. death touch. It's a one four. But, it's like, when it attacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it makes every other creature... It, it There's gets... a Narnum Renegade. Here's a Death Red Shaman. Yeah, Death Red sucks for this deck. <laughs> for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes a lot of my stuff hard to cast. Yeah. You didn't... Death Red's... Are... I, I wish someone could figure out how to play that card. Because, gosh, do I like it. Yeah, it's think... in Pioneer. Yeah, it's so Nobody good. can find the deck for it. Yeah. Like, I don't know if there is a deck for it is the problem. We tried playing Blue-Black Rogues. That was fine, yeah. I think the mana is likely improved. Yeah, with the flip lands? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And so I might want to revisit because the blue. Oh, that's pretty good. You had his expertise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my like Pretty good. You had his expertise. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here comes the thought tease out of Jake. You okay, get dig, dig in a time heartless, heartless act. act. Okay. You guys are discussing it. Yeah, yeah I was like, yeah. <laughs> I think I think he had he was like thinking about playing a creature. Uh -huh. and I was like, D you dig will just find me an answer yeah, yeah, yeah. and another card. Like, dig is a better card yeah. for sure. <laughs> All right, so now you're you've got a heartless act versus Jake. He's got two in hand. Yeah. All right. I guess he drew fewer lands. So that's how he's gone up cards. Yeah. Sometimes that's how you win games. See, weirdly enough, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you draw the perfect number of lands. Yep. Here comes chill. That's pretty good. It's not good right now. I think your deck is. Uh, that you just that drew another dig. Yeah. <laughs> like so, kind of bad, dude. <laughs> so now you have the Heartless and the dig. Fucking fine, dude. Enjoy yourself. I forgot that I just drew the yeah, dig off yeah, the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Poor Jake. Uh, man. Take through time. It's, it's good. Yeah. I got <laughs> multiple cards in my hand now. There's Thoughtseize. There's a fin and a ram through. Yep. Jake is considering putting Cocos in this deck. I don't know if he has yet. I could see it. I think like every card except for Questing Beast is CMC3 or less. You're right. And then I have Legion into his shovel, and I have to explain how Legion's End works, because it's very confusing. Legion <laughs> is a weird card, for sure. <laughs> Jake thought it exiled all cards with CMC2 or less from oh, the graveyard. It's like and a surgical? Like, yeah. Nope, just for the hand, bro. So we know the last card in Jake's hand. It's fin, I think. Yeah, no, it's ram through. What? A ram through. Yeah, I discarded the fin of thoughts. So he's got four lands ram through. Uh huh. That's a bad spot. <laughs> yes. And here's a thought Get that, that ram through, through out of here. Yeah. I was like, I just don't want to deal with it if I ever have to play like Scare of God. It is it's like good. weirdly efficient. I know. Yeah, right? I know. Like I, I look at the card, I'm like, this is bad. And then he uses it, and I'm like, I guess my shit dies. Yeah. yeah. You have a, you're the only guy playing Doomblade in this format. Because <laughs> no one else gets to. My one not white bordered swamp. <laughs> oh boy, it's even full art. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep it together, man. Snow basics are in modern or pioneer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you should always be running them. I like. I, I don't want to, but like you should always run. Snow I lands. desperately want there to be. I don't know if there is. I should, I should. I could go and gather and find out. I think there should be a snow walk creature or something. Just there's there's got to be one reason that snowlands are bad. 
There, just magic there, needs to not. give you one. There's, there's like a one. creature that makes snow permanents enter tapped. Oh, see? See? But, like, it's not a good creature is the problem. It's like a six mana nine, one, three. Nine, one. Like, <laughs> <it's very laughs> Sometimes R&D does some goofy stuff. All right, here comes a guy so reach. I activated a guy reach in response to the Castle Lock lane. Oh, that doesn't do anything. No, it just makes decisions harder. Okay, got He has it. fewer cards in hand. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, he has to draw and then discard. No, no, he draws then discards then draws. So he's down a card. So he only has two cards in hand versus three to decide from. Nope. Uh, yes. That absolutely is not correct. Uh, yes. What? You respond to the trigger. Let's, so let's assume he has two cards in hand and activates Cathalog. No, he has one card in hand. So then he draws a card, discards a card. Yes, and he has two. But he has to decide from two versus having two going up to three to discard. It makes oh, because you knew you were going to... God, yeah. Wyatt, you... <laughs> <laughs> That is such minutiae. I, like, I cannot <laughs> understand how you would make that decision on the fly. God, stupid idiot. How do you do this? Like, like, that's just, you just, like, this interaction, you just figured that out that quickly? Okay, fine. Sure, I sure, think sure. this just kills me, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have no answer for this race. All right. My problem is I have this, uh, I think I've consigned to Oblivion. But I want to bounce uh, Ronus and discard it, but I can't because the weather, this is the one instance where Weathered Waystone worked against me. <laughs> oh, he gotcha. Yeah. What? How odd. Yeah, right? And then I just, like, make him discard. So that Finn would have been pretty bad for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, yes, I mean, I guess he's got a pretty fast clock. That I, I got it this big. turn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, oh, yeah, no, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He, like... Okay, you're dead, yeah. My, my game plan was hoping that, like, he, he thinks I have removal spell, yeah. and he doesn't just try to go all out on me. Ah. Yeah. Or maybe I don't die this turn, but, like... I think, I think you I should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure I do, yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll see you for game three. So you are on the play here. Yes. I mean, I would say that's helpful, but Jake came out of nowhere to win that last game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big thing was Castle Lockwin. He had to draw, like, four cards off. Did he really? Yeah. Man, that's good. Castle Lockwin. Uh, Most of the castles, I think all the castles are good. Mm -hmm. Like, I think they got the power. Oh, do you know what Titan is running? What? Uh, White Castle? No. Blue Castle? Lake Litjara, the mirror pool or something Why? like that. It's five, tap, sack it, make a copy of a creature. It gets a plus one, plus one counter. I and so if you, have, if you have an amulet and you start tightening, you can, you can go get Simic Growth Chamber, that land, and then with three more mana, make a Titan copy that goes and gets like... It's, it's, it's kind of yeah. a crazy, it's kind of cool. I'm excited for that today. We're playing Modern on a Super Series today, um, and I'm going to be bringing Titan with some goofy cards in it. It's a goofy, a goofy. I cling to dust my own thing. Yeah. Which sucks, especially in a dig through time deck. Yeah, you got to do it sometimes. Cling to dusk is like... Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's ever a point where I, I think I do flash it back, actually. Wait, hold on, what happened? You guys have six lands out. There's yeah. nothing in the graveyard. <laughs> What are you guys... We've been talking about something else, but like... So, so uh, this game is weird. Yeah. Uh, Jake draws nothing but lands for this entire game, oh. I think. Uh, so, and during this game, I thought Jake was just trying to have a turn where he plays like five creatures in a row uh -huh. and just like overloads me. And I was like, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know what to do against that, I guess. <laughs> you just thought his Oracle drew two. Yeah. Oh, is it if X is two, you just draw two? Yeah. Okay. I was like, why is look at top two? God, to you two and there. Wesley, I can't trust you anymore. You I don't think you've tuned once. You might have. You might have. All right, so there's a ram through in response to... Blitzy's Ascension. Got it, just to kill your... <laughs> just to kill his... Ram through is an instant? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah I, I, you know what? It's a good card, I gotta say. Is Pell Collector have Death Touch? No. No, okay. It has level... It might... I don't know what it has. Yeah, if Health Collector has Death Touch, I wouldn't mind it in this deck either. I don't know, you're not playing... Is it Power or Toughness? If it's Power or Toughness, yes. It is Power... Death... Uh, Pelt Collector is like, yeah, Power or Toughness. Then, think, yeah, for sure, run that. I think it has something else. I don't... Yeah, I feel like it has Trample. Yeah, if, if it gets counters, it has Trample. It doesn't have yeah, Death yeah. Touch. Can't play it. <laughs> Here's a dig out of me. You guys have a ton of lands. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Five, six, seven... <laughs> Because Jake has more than me yes, in this situation. Yes, he does. I don't think that's what he came here to do. No. He came here to have four-ish lands yeah. in play. Yeah. And I came here to have 12, but... <laughs> you got seven. He's got eight. It's too bad. All right, here comes the Thoughtseize. Yeah, he's a Thoughtseize. And then it's just oh, like three more no. lands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I got to see the way things are going here. Yeah. When do... This is like just statistically amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Did I, he... think, I think he draw land here, too. No, he drew spell. Okay. Weathered's Waystone. Yeah, I think I, just, I have to flashback my freaking... I was, like, mad about this, because I was like, God, I can't flashback <laughs> my stupid card anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you exile a creature to gain three? No, I exile the instant to Oh, excuse card. me, I yeah. missed it. I think drawing cards is like the only mode you should ever do unless you're playing against Burn. I agree with that, yeah. yeah. Especially because he's got, what's it called? Infinite yeah. Lands. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good. So this this Falmar Knight is actually, I don't mind this card. Unless you yeah, counter yeah. it on the way down. You get to, no, I don't, I don't have a counter spell for this. Yeah. I took out like all my negates. The only counter spell I left was Thassa's. Sure. I, I like Thassa's because it's it's like a, a Supreme Will that scales. Really. Yeah. I, th I still think Supreme Will is just good. But Thassa's picking up two cards is pretty huge. Yes, I agree. Yeah. He draws another foul Iron Knight or something. That's how he's going to get you, yeah. dude. He's going to get back in this game. <clears throat> and also, yeah. Karn's Bastion is kind of crazy, too. Yeah, if I were going to Poison Counter, I'm yeah. like under a serious clock. Yeah. yeah. Is Bastion legendary? Yeah, I don't think so. Because if it's not, I could see... I mean, like, you don't want to draw ten lands no. in a game ever. So maybe not more than one. So you're probably not able to... Because it's four mana to activate. It is, yeah. It, it, you get one activation per so you need, five lands. Yeah. It's, it is not. It is not legendary. But you probably don't run. You don't run one or two. I think you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both draw discard. Salon division. I think this is a really good card out of the new set. Weirdly, right? Yeah. Look at the top. I'm supposed seven. to reveal it, but like, I just didn't for some oh, reason. Oh, yeah. Wyatt didn't cheat once. <laughs> there oh, it is. now he did. I think I was like just deciding still. Man. Yeah. I wanted you to have cheated, but you didn't. All right. <laughs> so he, he's not in a bad spot right here. This is a pretty good board state. With these yeah, yeah. he like has an actual board state all of a sudden. Yeah. It came out of nowhere. It was Falmar Knights. Knights. He's oh. just a, they just named Odd. Oh, okay. Well, all right, man. Why, he so what, that so what, no, what happened was Jake forgot to cast it, and then on my upkeep, he was like, wait, can I cast this? And I drew the extinction right. I was like, Jake, just don't cast it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good friend, Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, can I take it back? And I was like, the rules say you can. And I was just like trying to help him out with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here it comes. He played the night you killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I went Glint Sleep Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, usually if the game goes this long, it's in my the blue-black deck has taken it. Right. And here's just an Aether Gust. Yeah. Finn on the bottom. Yeah. It's the last card. I, I think that Coco is what he needs here. Yeah, yeah, Coco in this situation probably gets him out of this. Yeah. Well, it, it can it, slowly dig him out. Yeah. I think I also have, like, four cards in hand or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, at this point. I think like, I also get to go Narset, Gyre, Okay, okay. On, so we like, are close to the game no longer yeah. mattering. Are a lot of decks running the Gyre Reach combo? Uh, the blue-black ones are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to close it out with this uh, <laughs> stupid little nerd. Yeah, and then on his draw step, or upkeep, I make him draw this card, and then... Yep. Yeah. And then, and then we, I had explained like how it works. Like yeah. this is the last card you're gonna have in your hand for the remainder of the game. Yeah. Oh, there's an easy clean answer for that. I actually Heartless Act is a hell of a card. And then like in this situation I'm just explaining to Jake that like he's never gonna get to play magic. You will <laughs> never have a card in your hand in priority again for the remainder of the game. Yeah, then, yeah, so yeah, here comes I also hard hard yeah, cast yeah, yeah, yeah. in like the game, even if like yeah. So you just mill one for this game. Yep, yeah. and that's not enough for Jake. Uh that's the end. Thanks yeah. for watching, guys. We'll see you next round.